G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to take a look at managed records. So this is the DocWiki page on custom managed records and uh, I'm just going to use this as my cheat sheet. In fact I'll start by copying that, just throw that on my other screen and we'll create a new VCL application. And we'll just throw a button and a memo on. And they will look something like that. And I can be pedantic and anchor that appropriately. So let's paste in our managed record. And we see we've got uh, two class operators, uh, an initialize and a finalize. And I'll just use class completion to create those. And what we're going to do is in the initialize, I will throw in some stuff and the finalize throw in some stuff. So basically we're just going to log that um, we're destroying and creating um, the various things, um, what our managed record, and we are setting the default value to be 10. And just so that we're uh, copying and pasting the code, uh, dot we'll just fill that in like that. And so let's create a button. In fact, that's all I will do. And if we run that, and I click on the button, we see that we are, we are both creating and destroying um, a T my, my record, and we can see that the the same same memory address for each of those, which is what this is this is doing. So this is getting a pointer to the um, uh, memory location. We're converting that to an integer, and then we're getting that converting that integer to a hexadecimal value uh, to get a sort of memory address. So. That's, that's pretty cool, and we can go that's not to string. And here we go. We've created it. We've, we see that we're logging the value of 10, um, that's default value, and then we're destroying it. So that's fairly straightforward. Now, an integer is a simple type. Um, it just is, you know, just gets copied uh, fairly straightforwardly. Uh, but if I add a a object, and we'll just use a, a, a t strings, and in our initialize, we'll just create a string list, and of course, we shall free it. And just verify this all still runs quite nicely. And yep, that's fine. So let's just add another button. And if we run, run it this time, so far, we are creating two different records and we are destroying those records. So fairly straightforward. And if we go and add uh, a to that string list and b to that one and go uh, a to the side b b dot is l dot text. So we would expect that we would get um, a message dialog with the uh, rather exciting text of b. And if we run that, this is indeed what happens. But if I press OK, we get an exception with an uh, invalid pointer operation. And let's break on that. And we see, if we come to here, we see that we're trying to free a string list. And it's failing on that because we are trying to free the same string list twice. Now, what's happening is that 
our record our record A is being overwritten with the contents of record B. And record B has a string list, which we are creating in here. But we're getting that same string list created. So when we ref when we free, I suppose, I forget, I'm not sure which one will be freed first, but the second one that gets freed, uh, it's going to point into the same string list as the first one. And we're going to get an exception. Because um, freeing the same, same bit of memory twice is not good. Now, to get around this, there is an assign operator. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. Get up to our record. And we've got this class operator with assign. And let's just class, class completion on that. Now, the interesting thing is uh, class completion fails because we are missing this ref. So a somewhat minor bug in Delphi, but it's uh, fairly easy to work around. Now, what we want to do here is um, we can copy the value for from the source to the destination. And for the string list, we can call assign And assign the same string list. Oh, oh, it doesn't really matter too much, but I could go. Both will uh, achieve the same thing. So we're, this time we're overwriting the value, but we're keeping our string list and instead assigning the contents of that string list rather than the string list, the, the pointer to it. So yes, we want to run that again, and we now. We now get our B and we don't get an exception because our uh, string lists are not being overwritten or the values aren't being overwritten and therefore it's not getting free twice. It's, well, the same value is not getting free twice. We are freeing uh, each string list, string list correctly. So um, that's all I want to cover in this uh, video on managed um, types or managed, managed records. And um, there is more to cover, uh, whether I'll do another video or not is another question. But if we have a look in the document here, there is also a whole bunch of stuff about passing um, as parameters uh, managed, managed records and how you want them to behave in those respects. So uh, some interesting things there. But I'll perhaps cover those in another video when I get around to understanding them pro properly. So I'm Alistair Christie. I hope you found this video informative. I'll catch you in the next one. Um, also, check out uh, learndelphi.tv, the website. I've, I've, I've written a book, and you should definitely check that out. It's on coding fast in Delphi. And I've also got a bunch of commercial videos as well, particularly the Mega Pack, which contains lots of stuff, primarily focused around the VCL, but there's some extra stuff in there as well. Or you can buy the videos individually. But I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you in the next exciting episode.